We believe any dish can be made at a shit level of quality for everyone. And that's something we try and achieve here at Modernist Kun Sign Scene. It's everything from burnt toast to guacamole that you can put in your pocket and take on the go. It's delicious. So we cover leaves like theatrical adaptations of a clam burger. We will lick every layer of that burger from the bun, the cheese, the ketchup, the garnish, the patty. Obviously, that is a very important one. Ooh. We get in a circle and we just jizz in it and it drips like that. It adds a delicate sweetness for a traditional clam burger and it just overwhelms with components and it dwells upon the fact that when we put it together as this pudding that we use on your face and it helps to moisturize and moisturize and uh, um, and when we put it in this little cup it works really well and seaweed extracts and helps the dairy um, stick out of the cup and you know you eat it and it goes sticks to the roof of your mouth and then you put it on a spoon and it drips and oozes onto the burger like gonorrhea and sometimes a cheddar will uh, do some weird stuff like when people would take a cheese burger and then they would oil around their asshole and then it would ooze around cheese and then- fresh from the can is the preferred stock of choice it can float above almost anything, and there's a quite powerful substance to add upon to your meat sandwich. It is grade A British beef we most prefer for our Pink Floyd attack. And then we ride it down like a roller coaster down our mouth and intestines, and we roll it. We take the ground beef and roll it into a lot of shit so that we can simulate what it's like to take a massive shit after you eat a burger of this controsity. Behind the idea of cryo-frying, the burger starts to pee. As the juices collect on the inside of the bag, the meat settles itself away from the juice, causing it to become dry and stale, almost like your old mama's rags. It is a process known as cryo-frying, a beautiful process using magic and a little bit of love to create a dirty piaggi in your mouth, a caramelized sweetness of meat, juicy, wet so my penis is that big, it measures from there to there, but I mean... <laughs> then I take logs of shit like that, and then I round it off at the end, and maybe wish wash it. Then what I do is I, you know, take my hands like that, and then I... And then what I do is I take shit in a bag, and Ziploc bag, zip it up, swish it around, let it marinate, and then give or take, I let it sit there for 56 degrees Fahrenheit. 120 degrees Calvin, and that's it. I mean, like, you just put it on the grill and it just tastes fucking good. You see what I mean? The secret ingredient is the beef sauce, a homemade recipe. I think there's something marsupial about cats who say, Mel, you guys put in a lot of effort and tried to eat the hamburger. And I say, we ate the hamburgers, and they tasted like mama. And if you don't like it, we'll probably punch your face in. And that's probably what it comes down to when you're the creator of Star Wars. 